Okay, we're here with Katerina Johnson-Thompson and we're going to be asking Katerina about her preparation and her thoughts before the 2012 Olympics. Um, so how do you feel about the Olympics coming to London, Katerina? Obviously it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, nobody in our lifetime ever again is going to get the Olympics in your hometown or home country or whatever. So it's going to be a big deal and it's going to be so much hype about it. It's going to be like a year away. It's, I the other day, it's like 500 and something days away, so yeah. every day counts really, and I think everyone should be aiming for it who's involved in sports, because it's just the ones, like I said, ever again. So, is there anyone that we should particularly be looking out for in the run to the games that you would feel is? Um, well, it's this year's the World Championships in um, Korea, so I think people who do well and succeed in that are obviously going to go on to next year. and be the main people to look out for, I think, in Great Britain. It's people like Jess Grass and oh. Philip Stewo who are going to be um, up there because they won the World Championships the year before as well. So I think they're the main home glory hopefuls. The training regime that you have to undertake to be a, a top flight athlete is all consuming. Can you just give us an idea of what your regime consists of? Um, doing seven events is very hard. Um, I have to get through all the aspects of all the technical work, all the conditioning, mm. all the running, fitness as well. So I train five, six times a week for five days a week. I've yeah. got to go to the physio to get checked over as well. Once every week, that's in Manchester. Um, and a massage as well. But I train on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays off, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays off. Mm. And they can be from one hour to four hours.